Mark Lobliner, owner of Cyvation. October 3rd, 2010, day 42 of the epic prep. Also, the day I fly to Australia, I land on October 5th. There's a plus two day thing, which we realized looking at my Australia schedule and I had to mess with some flights late last night. It's all taken care of. Quick switch, Qantas Airlines, rocking it out. They, uh, they did it up for us, so we're okay. Anyway, yesterday, Derek actually switched my diet to six meals a day, and here's Derek's reasoning. Given that you are going to be in Australia for a month and no doubt super busy, eating ten times a day isn't going to happen. It wasn't happening that well here. I was trying, but I ended up sandwiching some meals together and doing my best. I think we should switch to six meals. I'm going to do three of these as Salvation Whey and Oatmeal and Peanut Butter. Um, just because Salvation Whey, Whey Protein has amazing benefits, and because it tastes damn good and it's a break from chewing meat. And really, our way is so clean and good, I'd put it up against food any day. And three meals with a solid protein source. Add in fruits and veggies as desired. I'm adding in berries like it's going out of style. No limit. Again, I'm bulking. I'm not going to get fat off of berries. Even if I did get a little fat, whoop de doo And I can eat a little more food if I feel like eating more food. And if I just want to eat more food, basically go for it. Gain some size, bro. Rock and roll. So my diet's been updated. Basically, every meal for six meals a day will be 60 carbs, 56 protein, 15 fat. It's the equivalent of one cup of uncooked oats, eight ounces of meat, and two tablespoons of peanut butter. It comes out, too, with the diabetic exchange, about 3,600 total calories per day. Without the diabetic exchange, it's a little over 4,000. As for training, yesterday I went to Gold's Gym, tore up the chest, did a little bit of a, uh, it, it was just a great workout, did triceps as well. One of those where you just did not want to leave the gym. I only have two more days here. Actually, this is my last workout here this morning. And uh should be a good one. I'm going to hit some shoulders. And then when I land in Australia, I got some back with, uh, with an account of mine out there. Really nice people. Question of the day from Elliot. I noticed your recent acquisition of the Vibram Five Finger Shoes looking to buy a pair. Have you noticed better mind-muscle connection, comfort, range of motion? What type of shoe did you order? I know there's several different models and want to know what you got, blah, blah, blah. Basically, I got the KSO, I think you can see this, KSO, I believe it's KSO Sport, but KSO, it's, that's their main style. It's phenomenal. I wore it all day at Disneyland. I haven't worn regular shoes since. Don't plan on it. Not even taking regular shoes to Australia. I'm actually going to buy a pair in Australia, an extra pair, a black pair. I love them. They look funny. People give you looks. Little kids laugh at you. But to be honest with you, the comfort and the sheer freedom of having your feet, you know, just rolling like that with your toes separated, I really like them. I've fallen in love. It's become my regular shoe. Uh, I highly recommend them for squats. There is a better feel, is a better range of motion. I, even if it's mental, who cares? I like it. It does its thing. It's a good shoe. Other than that, today, I'm going to be eating all my meals today, overnight. Hopefully I can sleep through the flight at least eight to nine hours of it. I got my Salvation Knockout. Hopefully I can take enough of those to sleep a little bit. And they have TV on those planes. Should be good. Then I arrive in Perth, Australia tomorrow at around 12.30, which is Tuesday. Because the plus two days. But for you Americans, it's going to be about 24 hours from 10 p.m. tonight. And then I get to work in it. Get to doing my thing. I believe we have a seminar out there in Perth um, coming up on Wednesday. Let me actually look that up right now on my computer. Seminar is Wednesday, October 6th at 7.40 p.m. at Fitness First in Inalu. That's Studio 2. If you ask me how to get there, I'm going to say I don't know. Hardest part of this trip is my kids. I have to say goodbye to them for over a month. I've had some great times with them. Um, they've been in California with me. My wife's with me. It's going to be really tough to say goodbye to them. Uh, I love my kids and everything I do is for them, including sacrificing and going out and promoting the company and earning a living for them. That's that's what I do. That's my main function in the household. And One day they'll understand that hard work, dedication, and sacrifice will lead to prosperity. And hopefully in this great country of America and in every country in the world, the government doesn't do anything to take away our freedom to work our butts off and succeed and become something. Because, you know, my brother, myself, we didn't come from the you know, most silver spoon households, so to speak. But being that this country is so free, and there are many countries like ours where you can make it, that we were able to just outwork people. And we might not be the most talented, but if you work hard, you can make it in this country. And one day I want my kids to look in the mirror and say, you know what, I miss my daddy a lot. But at the end of the day, he had our best interest in mind, and he was, 
He was a real person. He did what he could to give us what we need. I never want my kids to need for anything. And I'll work my butt off until, until I can make sure that's not going to happen. But I have a long day ahead of me, get a lot of work done, get out to the airport, and fly to Australia. And then I'll be there with you blokes, and we'll be rocking, we'll be eating kangaroo meat. Till next time, train hard, reach your goals, and, well, train hard and reach your goals. Take it easy.